PCI Media Center right here in Vancouver, BC. Welcome back to the new PCI Daily Live News Roundup brought to you by Philippine Canadian Inquirer, the only Filipino Canadian newspaper distributed across Canada. I'm Manny Noel Abuel. Thank you for joining us. We have the latest news development in the news. Del Rosa adds two new commandments. The Philippines as a nation celebrates the new year with a loud bang from drums to firecrackers to firearms. Philippine National Police Director General Ronald De La Rosa has been appealing to the public and to fellow PNP personnel not to use their firearms to welcome the new year as these threaten life and property. De La Rosa said that he has added two new commandments to the decalogue of the police's campaign against indiscriminate firing, especially during New Year's revelry. To bolster the campaign, the PNP chief gave two more orders to the original Ten Commandments in the Christian faith. He said, Eleventh Commandment, Thou shalt not fire thy guns indiscriminately as it may hit, kill, and injure thy neighbor. He continued on, Twelfth Commandment, If thy neighbor fires his gun indiscriminately, thou shalt make sure to take photos and videos to be reported to the PNP and uploaded. Citizens are urged to report incident of indiscriminate firing of guns or use of prohibited firecrackers to Nationwide Emergency Hotline 911 or through PNP social media accounts, PNP Hotline for Twitter and Philippine National Police on Facebook. Duterte leads commemoration of Rizal Day. President Rodrigo Duterte called for national unity as the Philippines commemorates the martyrdom of Jose Rizal. In a written statement, Duterte said that the remembrance of Rizal Day running the nation is, quote, challenging and perilous times. Still battling against crime, property, illegal drugs, corruption, and that the country is still fighting for freedom. He said, quote, indeed, they are our present enemies. They are the modern invaders that subjugate our people's hearts, minds, and spirits. The president is calling all sectors of society for its active involvement to attain, quote, genuine change as the country heads for betterment. The SWD responds to Typhoon Nina's devastation. The National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council, or NDRRMC, reported that three people died while 10 others went missing due to Typhoon Nina that battered the Visayas, Bicol, and the Southern Tagalog regions. Typhoon victims need help and the government, along with other sectors, trying to provide relief to affected areas. The Department of Social Welfare and Development needs an additional 614 million pesos to provide relief to areas affected by Typhoon Nina as other government agencies continue to provide help to those affected by the disaster. Social Welfare Secretary Judy Tagualo said the amount would be used to provide family packs, emergency shelter assistance, and other needs of survivors. Tagualo said in a press conference in Malacanang yesterday, quote, We will be preparing a proposal for the emergency shelter assistance so that it will be requested from DBM, Department of Budget and Management, because they are about to close their books for 2016. The DSWD reported that the number of affected families continue to rise as the region submit their reports. And that's all for now. Thank you for joining us here at PCI Daily Live News Roundup. With Christmas gone, we are working on the New Year countdown. From PCI Media Center right here in Vancouver, BC, together with our Philippine news team in Manila, Debbie Mangabat, our news editor, and Gino Alcantara, our graphics, design artist, and video editor. I'm Manny Noel Abuel. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.